So we're looking at Aussie dollar after the RBA meeting overnight. Uh, the cash rate was not changed and that was not expected uh, to see a change, so, so nothing surprising there. What I think was expected was a, a more explicit shift into an easing bias after what appeared to be a shift into neutral that uh, saw Aussie dollar backing up quite sharply at the previous meeting. That shift didn't occur, but if we look at the, uh, the statement itself, it was still quite downbeat and it's still quite clear that the RBA is worried about further downside risks to the Australian economy and of course they will respond with rate cuts if those downside risks are realized. So I think this, this rally we've seen in Aussie dollar off the back of this statement is, is a bit excessive. Could continue very slightly in the short term but looking lower especially if the U.S. data through the end of this week surprises to the upside. So looking at selling Aussie dollar around the 77 level. And so if we're right about this uh, misread on the RBA policy statement and if we do get strong data uh, through the end of the week from the U.S. Uh, we should see these 7550, uh, sub 7550 lows in Aussie dollar taken out. We're targeting to a couple of levels below there as you see on the trading strategy 7460 and 7325. Now for the stop uh, we have a couple of interesting options here. Of course, we can do a straightforward stop, 78.15, but it's quite a bit of distance to that stop, and that's in recognition of the volatility risks around U.S. data. Another option is to buy a call option as, as a stop. And what this does is it is expensive, but there's less, it's less expensive than a, than a very wide stop. And it does keep you in the market no matter what happens to the upside. Uh, if we see, for example, a particularly poor ISM non-manufacturing, and Aussie dollar trades up to 70.50, 78.50 before collapsing over the next uh, week or so, a call option keeps you in that position. And the expire, we look at an expire for June 12th, and it keeps at least that position open until uh, June 12th, with the hope that eventually, of course, we see the downside. Now, the risk, of course, with buying the call option is that you have to see the position more into profit before it becomes overall a profitable position. Whatever that premium you've paid on the option, let's say you buy 120 or 30 pips higher than the, uh, the entry price, cost maybe 50, 60 pips. So the, the position needs to be 50 to 60 pips on the spot side into the money before uh, the first pip of profit is realized. So a couple of options there for how to deal with a stop in these vol potentially volatile circumstances over the next few days.